Welcome back, X4 Foundations Cradle of Humanity. Today we're going to talk about getting a new ship upgrade. I've been using the Gladius here. We're going to instead upgrade ourselves to a medium sized ship finally. I've had fun with the Gladius, but you know it's time to get a little more firepower. And let's get into it. So we're going to buy the Katana Corvette, mainly because. The Gion seems pretty specialized to me. It's kind of like a picket defense ship with all its turrets. And the Falx frigate is just too expensive. And I don't really want to cover it right now. So let's get this built out. So, you know, Katana's all right looking, I guess. Nothing, nothing crazy, boxy. Um, it has some good things going with it. It's got four front weapons and two turrets, uh, which is very nice, actually. And it's not extremely overpriced, as we found with some other ships. With the basic engines here, you get 441 meters per second, which is really good. If I'm looking at the speed, the default speeds, that puts it at third, kind of behind the Cobra and Dragon, the split ships. So it's definitely very fast for a medium ship with the default engines. It's got two shield generators. We're just going to go with Mark IIs for now. I'm going to go take a trip to the Talati and put the their shields on them. But that gets us almost uh, 13k shields, 11k hull. Now for the weapons, there's a few things we got to try here. This is a nice platform where we can try different medium weapons. The last video we did with the Proton Barrage on the smalls, though, but the mediums are even nicer. So we're going to start out with those. And then we're going to get into multiple weapon groups, maybe introduce some Mason streams, which are crazy. Maybe throw in some missiles for once. I rarely use missiles. And I, I want to use more of them. Turrets, you know... I'm just going to go with Pulse. I, I really need to spend some time on turrets. The Gion ship looks interesting with turrets because they have, what, five turrets on them? Six? Where is that Gion? Six turrets. So that would be interesting to, to really make a turret build. Since I'll be flying this, we'll load it out with the latest software. I wish software was more interesting, like in uh, X3. Maybe we can, maybe someday we'll be consumables. We always can use some things like uh, a few resource probes, some satellites, crew. Downside of the katana only holds six crew, so this isn't to move marines around. But I will keep a couple marines on board. And then we're good. So we're looking about 3.4 million for this, which is really not a bad deal. I mean, compared to what a uh, Fox would cost me. Ooh, this would be an expensive ship, a fully decked out Fox. And if we put Masons on these, it'll be uh, really expensive. But we're going to start out with the Proton Barrages. So let's get that ordered. Confirm order. And it's building right away. Love Terran economy because things build very quickly. Our katana is built. Check out this bridge. This makes this ship feel huge. Two, uh, three horizontal seats. This is a cool bridge, definitely. A lot of window space. It can even come down here. Look at all the space in this bridge. And then right out the door. I like that. I like that layout. I really do. Hey, a couple people here. Any Hello. anybody worthwhile? Mm, no. So this thing looks big. They're my proton barrage cannons, Mark II mediums. I need to get some paint jobs. So yeah, the Corvette. I always forget the scale. I love. I I can't say it enough. The, the scale this game imparts is one of the best features. Yeah, so this is our new ship. It is huge. 
Let's, uh, let's take this out of here. I'll take the bridge seat, please. Bridge seat, please. All right. Let's see how this thing feels. Four hundred forty-one meters per. It's that's one thing that's kind of weird. Why is this so much faster than my fighter? Like the Gladius was one sixty-one default. Why it just feels unintuitive that this Corvette by default would be faster than the fighter by like two two point five times. I mean, we are cruising around. That's all. I see you. I see you, free rep. Come on. Short range transporter. Come on. Got it. They don't really drop anything anymore, sadly. So yeah, this this definitely feels like a a, a sweet ship. Let's check out the out outside aesthetics here. It's not the best looking ship. It's very, I don't know, box. I don't want to say boxy. It's just, you know, it's cool looking in its own right. I don't like the turret locations all that much. Their coverage is above me, so I guess I have to I have to keep them pointed at targets if I really want to get all the firepower. Compare that to other ships where they're on the side. I just think I, I I don't think they'll fire much towards frontal targets. We'll have to see. I definitely need a brighter paint job though. All right, we're gonna uh, go get into action now. See how this works.
Frontier Edge. P. All right, we just had some fun with our katana here. It's pretty effective. It's quick. It's four frontal guns. Um, I think it's a great frigate. Once we upgrade the shields and engines a bit more, I think it's a very solid ship. Probably better than Cerberus unless you want to carry around a smaller ship or Marines. A katana will probably be my ship of choice for the time being but we're definitely going to try out the other ones see how they kind of rate but it's a cool looking ship i highly recommend it if you have the means that about covers it for this thanks for watching hope you have a great day